August 8th. On this day, we celebrate the memory of our Holy Father, Emilian the Confessor, the Bishop of Cyzicus. Our Holy Father, Emilian, was first a monk in the monastery founded by St. Tarasius, whom we celebrate on the 25th of February, where he excelled in the works of virtue. He was made a bishop some time after his friends and companions, St. Michael of Synoda, whom we ce celebrate on the 23rd of May, and St. Theophylactus, whom we celebrate on the 8th of March, succeeding Metropolitan Nicholas in the See of Cyzicus after 788. He showed himself a faithful steward of divine grace and was distinguished both by his charity and his gentleness. During the assembly in the imperial palace called by Emperor Leo V to discuss the veneration of the holy icons, Saint Emilian challenged the heretical ruler and declared that the question of dogma being a strictly ecclesiastical concern should be treated in the church and not before the civil authorities. His reward for this courageous confession of faith was exile. After about five years full of trials, he died, apparently assassinated by the emperor's agents, and he joined the assembly of the holy and triumphant martyrs. to thee, O heavenly King, O comfort of the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. The truth of things has revealed thee to thy flock as a rule of faith, an icon of meekness and a teacher of temperance. For this cause thou hast achieved the heights by humility, riches by poverty. O Father and Hierarch Emilian, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Thy victorious right arm is in godly manner been glorified in strength. For as Almighty, O immortal, when it smote the adversary, fashioning anew the path for the deep for the Israelites, O Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. As thou dwells with the orders that are beyond the world, O godly minded Emilian, look down upon us and joyously keep thy long for festival. O blessed Father, and count us worthy of salvation. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Holy, commingled with the Master and flashing with the fiery emanations, that issue thirst, thou hast made this godly festival altogether brilliant with thy teachings. 
O God, inspired and godly-minded Father, made manifest as a revealer of sacred things. Holy Father, a million pray to God for Through us. Through virtue, O higher earth, thou didst set up thy mind to be a governor of the passions as a just arbitrator unto soul and body, O Father, apportioning to each of them that which was fitting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Notably presiding over the Church as a perfect initiate of the things that pass all understanding, O all celebrated Emilian, the words a powerful contender for the truth, breaking the great teeth of lions and stopping their mouths. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Him that was born of thy womb do we piously acknowledge to be one into natures, supernaturally both God and man, possessing in perfection the properties of each, O all blameless virgin. O thou who alone knowest the infirmity of our mortal essence, and hast taken on the form thereof in thy compassion, gird me from power on high that I may cry to thee, Holy is the living temple of thine ineffable glory, O friend of man. O holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. We, the faithful, bring thee forward as a godly suppliant with Christ, who has triumphed splendidly for his sake, and has honored his icon, who has kept the ordinances of the holy apostolic preaching, and has preserved the faith given from above. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Exhibiting martyric firmness, so did smoke profane arrogance, so admirable and godly minded Emilian, illustrious as an indestructible but an immovable bastion of the church and an inspired mediator manfully convicting the fully Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit He that is in all ways evil having drunk to the full the poison of heresy is reproved by their word of instruction for light makes darkness to vanish and the inventions of wicked counsel are laid bare by the rays of divine vision Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages Amen With a Right voice and with our whole soul, O all blameless Virgin, we now rightly proclaim thee to be God's mother, who gave birth to the fleshless God, who became flesh from thee, and dwelled among us while undergoing no change, no being confounded with any intermingling. Alleluia, and by the Holy Spirit. Thou didst boldly preach the upright doctrines of the orthodox faith, O Emilian, and thou didst shame the iniquitous emperor, O Father, when thou wast exiled most wrongfully. Righteous Father, intercede with Christ God in our behalf, that his great mercy may be granted unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Transfigured on the mount of Tabor thou didst show the bright effulgence of thy divine majesty. To thine elect disciples in the measure they could endure it, O Almighty Jesus Christ, who alone art unchangeable, with them may we also shine, who extol thee in songs of praise, and cry to thee in faith and in concord, O Word of God, glory to thy kingdom. Have a cook gazing with the eyes of foresight upon thee, the mountain overshadowed by the grace of God, prophesied that the Holy One of Israel would come forth from thee for our salvation and restoration. O Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Thou has availed to overthrow the arrogance of the destroyer, O most happy and all blessed Emilian, for through virtue thou became kindred unto him that avails in all things and is mighty in wars. And now thou dost shout, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Sent into distant exile, so didst endure, showing thyself to be a man of fortitude, O godly minded Emilian, who for thine excellencies was first a high priest and then afterwards a priestly martyr, O most excellent God bearer. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O thrice 
Christ, blessed Emily and marvelous in his state of sacred mysteries that was shown to be lawfully consecrated from childhood, made resplendent by asceticism and fenced about the teaching of grace, while crying unto God, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that is perceived to transcend all creation, accomplishing the incomprehensible mystery of God's life in Engendering assumption of form upon earth, to cop his dwelling in thy womb, O Immaculate Lady, for it was beautifully arrayed with the splendors of virginity. Since thou art the God of peace and the Father of mercies, that is send unto us thine angel of great counsel, granting us peace, wherefore, having been guided to the light of divine knowledge, and watching by night, we glorify thee, O thou who lovest mankind. O Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Christ, perceiving in his divine foreknowledge the purpose of thy great soul, manifestly adorned her with great distinctions, making her fair with the vestments of a priest and a countess of a martyr, O most venerable initiate of sacred mysteries. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Having first drawn to thyself the grace of the Spirit, thou didst well up rivers of teachings for the flock of Christ, O all blessed and most sacred Emilian, whence, having learned to honor the icon of Christ and of all the saints, we put to shame them that contend against God. Holy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having first slain thy carnal mind with the pains of asceticism, all blessed hierarch, thou gavest life to thy mind with the brightness of the Spirit, and shining out brilliantly in both, thou didst please God, O admirable Hieromato. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O holy of holies, virgin most pure, thou hast given birth to Christ, the Redeemer, the holy of holies, who makes all men to be holy. Wherefore we magnify thee as the queen and sovereign mistress of the world, who gave birth to the creator of all created things. The sea monster spat forth Jonas as it had received him like a babe from the womb. While the word, having dwelt in the virgin and taken flesh, came forth from her, yet kept her incorrupt. For being himself not subject to corruption, he preserved his mother free from harm. O holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. In thy desire to check the spread of heresy, thou didst eagerly set out for perils, and using great boldness of speech, thou didst convict the ungodly opinion of him that then held sway. And when the godly-minded council was gathered, a wise Emilian, thou wast the first to speak. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Since thou ardently sought after Christ alone, longing to find his divine illumination, O God-inspired hierarch of the Lord, thou didst display the firmness of a martyr, having formerly shown in asceticism, and thou hast plainly carried off twofold cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Holy Spirit, having thy mind with God on high and shining with divine splendor, O blessed Emilian, thou didst lightly sail across the sea of life, and now thou hast been brought to anchor in the ports of heaven by the Holy Spirit, O righteous one, steered by the Spirit's power. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure one, when God transcendent was well pleased in his compassion to save the nature of mortals, corrupted through the serpent's envy, he dwelled in thy womb, and without change became flesh, for he found thee alone to be pure, O Immaculate Virgin Theotokos. Chanting the church for which thou didst suffer, O Emilian, doth glorify thee, who did show thyself to be a mighty champion of the Trinity. Wherefore we honor thy memory, deliver thy servants from the invasion of the heathen. We the faithful know thee, O Theotokos, to be a noetic furnace, for as the supremely exalted one saved the three youths, in thy womb the praised and most glorious God of our fathers wholly renewed the world. 
O Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Thou is truly a majestic adornment of hierarchs, O admirable Father, for reigning over the passions, thou became an indestructible tower and bulwark of the Church, praising the praised and supremely glorious God. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Thou hast been shown to us as a new David, bringing down the Philistine teachings with the sling of thy well-aimed words and the arrows of thy dog, Doctrines of all renowned Emilian, while praising the praised and supremely glorious God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou stood splendidly before the judgment seat for the sake of Christ, O Father Emilian, and made thy words overflow as from a divine fountain, and unto all thou didst preach the worship of icons, knowing clearly that it passes on to the prototype. Both now and ever and unto the age. Ages of ages. Amen. Only, all blessed and all hymned Virgin Mother, thou strangely remains a virgin after giving birth to the Maker of all, who rests upon a cherubic throne, even the praised and supremely glorious God of our Father. The furnace moist with dew was the image and figure of a wonder past nature. For it burnt not the youth whom it had received, even as the fire of the God had consumed not the virgin's womb into which it had descended. Wherefore, in praise let us sing, that all creation bless the Lord and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. O Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Invoking God like Elias, thou burns up with intelligible fire the whole substance of heresy like dry brush, and slews the priest of shame with the sword of the Spirit. And now in gladness thou dost sing, let all creation bless the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Thou hast seen to be filled with grace and divine power, adorned with the the beauty of chastity and an yielding in thine adherence to glorious piety, wherewith thou now stands in the presence of the Master, all blessed, and thus cry, Let all the creation bless the Lord and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou kept watch from above upon us who sing thy praise, O godly minded and most sacred Father Emilian making our path straight and easy by thy prayers, and breaking to pieces the want and pride of heresies, that in joy we may sing, let all creation bless the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blemish in thy beauty there is none at all, for since the world began, thou alone hast proved all immaculate, O all pure virgin, making the world bright with the gleamings of virginity and the light of purity. Wherefore, as we sing thy praise, we cry, let all creation bless the Lord and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. The burning bush that was not consumed was a type of thy pure childbirth, and now we entreat thee to extinguish the furnace of temptations that rages against us, O Theotokos, that we may magnify thee unceasingly. O Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Thou hast found the rewards of thy pains in the heavenly tabernacles, O God-bearing Emilian, where thou hast now been counted worthy to dwell with the divine armies of the martyrs as a divine hierarch and an exceedingly glorious hieromartyr. Holy Father Emilian, pray to God for us. Thou hast adorned with the doctrines of reason and wisdom, O excellent Emilian, wherefore Christ has crowned thine honored head, O most blessed one, and now he is entreated for our sakes as thou dost beseech him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Master has thrown open the gates of heaven, and has received thy soul, giving it rest in the places of refreshment, since he is just, O righteous Emilian. And now thou walks about before the throne of the King of all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, how thy wonders pass all understanding, for thou, virgin, O only old pure lady, has given all to have a perception of the unheard miracle of thy conception. Wherefore, O all pure Theotokos, we magnify thee unceasingly. Leo that hath barbarian, that never sated Hades, 
assailed the blameless church of Christ like a ferocious lion and gave command not to worship our faith's all holy icons. But then, O oh blessed Emilian, thou didst mightily censure the God opposed and most loathsome heresy of the tyrant, from whom thou bearest bitter pains, exiles and tribulations. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, who was transfigured in glory before his disciples on Mount Tabor for our salvation, at the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, whose holy icon known as the tall sky icon we celebrate this day, at the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of our righteous father Emilian the Confessor, the Bishop of Sisychus, with the prayers of St. Myron the Wonder Worker, the Bishop of Crete, with the prayers of our righteous father Theodosius, the Abbot of Orobi, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Eleftherius, Leonidas, and the infants who were perfected in martyrdom by fire with the prayers of the holy ten ascetics of Egypt who repose in peace, with the prayers of the holy two martyrs of Tyre who, having been dragged upon the ground, were perfected in martyrdom, with the prayers of the holy martyr Styracius who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of the holy new martyr Triandaphilus of Zagora in Magnesia who was martyred in Constantinople in 1680, with the prayers of the holy new martyr Anastasius of Macedonia, who was martyred in Thessalonica in 1794. With the prayers of our righteous father Gregory, the iconographer of the Kiev Caves. With the prayers of our righteous father Gregory, the wonder worker of the Kiev Caves. With the prayers of our righteous fathers Zosimus and Savatius of Solovki, the recovery of whose holy relics we celebrate this day. With the prayers of our righteous father Ephthemius, the abbot of the monastery of the Baptist in Georgia, with the prayers of our righteous father Coleman of Lindisfarne, and those with them whose memory we keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.